Hey YouTube, welcome back to Luke's Amateur Hour. Yeah, the, the saga continues with this friggin' tractor, man. My wife is telling me to buy a new tractor. I'm, you know, I like playing around with it, so I'm not jumping at the gun to spend another three grand or whatever on uh, whatever it would be on a tractor, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's got to happen eventually, right? Uh, what size are these screws? Daddy don't know. I don't know. Half inch? They're not half inch. 10 mil? 10 mil. Everything's 10 mil, right? Everything is 10 mil. So, um, so what's going on? What do I got going on? The problem I'm having is my um, tractor's running great. But when I turn it off, something in the carburetor is not turning off the fuel properly. And so what I get is just fuel coming out all the time, which, you know, is not ideal. Where's my... John Deere. And so uh, I end up with fuel on my on my deck here and fuel on my yeah I'm paying the three bucks a gallon or whatever it happens to be I don't even know I only fill a can once twice a summer maybe um, but I don't want to be putting I don't want to be putting fuel on the ground you know no I mean. Let's see, let's try these guys out. I also got these new channel locks, the duck bills. Let me give them a shot. Kind of nice. Um, I'm going to need a new hose for that. Um, hey, wifey. What's going on? Originally, I thought it was this guy, the air cleaner box, because it's got a crack down here. But... I had fuel sitting in here for a day and a half and nothing leaked. Yeah, the crack doesn't go all the way through. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely in the carb somewhere, um, which is kind of a bummer here, obviously, because I had taken the carb apart already and cleaned it. Thought I did a good enough job. Apparently not. Ooh. Yeah, so. This is fun. This is what I want to do. Alright, so I'm going to unhook this carb, take it over the bench, and fix it. Catch you in a minute. I'm trying to work out the angles on this. Sorry, I knew my dog was going to bark and my kids were walking by. So, you know, chaos. But, um, let's see here. Pull the carb off. Don't want to lose my gaskets. Okay, that's fine. And we can do one, one of these. There's the front. Black goes in the front, silver goes in the back. I have to remember that. Uh, there we go. Okay. This is the original John Deere carb. My gaskets are in good shape. So, I know it's not the gaskets. Maybe I gotta clean up the gasket things here, but the problem is that the carb isn't stopping. It's not shutting off. So my fuel bowl, not shutting off. We're gonna go over to the to the workbench. We're gonna take her apart and take a look at it. Weird. Okay, so carb. Uh, we're gonna take her apart. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do take her apart. It's a half inch. I, this is filthy. I don't remember it being this dirty. Honestly. So this is pretty clean. 
Um, I'm gonna get another rag. Ah, I got one sitting right here. <laughs> My wife made me turn this into a shop rag. It's a fire extinguisher that says I put out. I guess once you get married and have kids, it's not something you have to wear in a shirt. Um, so this is clean. I mean, there's a couple spots in the bottom, but that's crystal clean, crystal clear, clean, whatever. The gasket, I don't think it, it wasn't leaking out the gasket because it was filling all the way up. So when I was looking at this before, nice. it was filling all the way up to, uh, It was filling all the way up to here. And so that means that the float isn't, the float isn't hitting the pin properly. So what's our float situation look like? Is our float not floating? Uh, without dumping that in water, I'm not exactly sure how to find that out. I might have to dump that in some water. And then our pin stop, Looks okay. I'm not going to try and take that apart. Oh, is that aluminum? That's aluminum. Nice. It's not magnetic. It doesn't stand in my John Deere magnetic holder thing. So I'm not really sure. The jets are working. So I think it's just the float. And what I will try to do, I have the Chinesium carb that I bought to try and replace this one. I thought it was the carb problem a while ago. So what we'll do is we will use this carbs float. If it's the same. Let's see. I want to use all the same John Deere components because um, this carb Works a lot better than the Chinesium carb. A, a lot better. This this carb idles. The Chinese one does not. In order for it to idle, I have to be at like half throttle. Um, so I adjust my idle screw to half throttle, which is crazy. Frankly, very unwanted. So that's all Chinese parts. Put that all over here. Okay, this is all John Deere, except for the float. So is the float the same? Looks close. Let's see. If we can get this pin, the John Deere pin. In. Yeah, honey. I caught one. You caught one? What'd you catch? A lightning bug? Oh boy, that's awesome, honey. I'll come look at it in a moment. You, you got me at like the worst possible moment here. I've got all these intricate parts. All these, there's three of them. Right. Part of being a dad is saying, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so does that... Cool. Float replacement. I'm going to clean. Uh, this rag is soaked in gas, so gas is a relatively decent cleaner for stuff that's going to be exposed to gas, at least. Cool. Gasket I didn't have a problem with. You know what? This thing is filthy, though. I wonder if it's all backlash from having just too much. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to get this guy on here. Pretty snug. Throw this guy in here. Snug her down. And so I didn't have a problem with the with the gasket on this or the bowl gasket because um, fuel sat in this uh, for a couple days, frankly, uh, two days before I. 
I wanted it to sit there for a little while before I uh, checked to see if anything had gone, uh, if it was going down or, like I'm looking for leaks, right? So I let it sit in the fuel bowl for a while and it stayed. It didn't go down, it didn't, it didn't come up. I had turned the fuel off so it wasn't coming up anymore. So, some picks, pick action here. Oh man, this stuff is grody. This is so nasty. We're gonna try, I don't know if I have any of this left. Ooh, that's cold. Don't know if that's healthy for parts or not, but it's getting me air pressure, so. All right, so we got that stuff all cleaned off relatively well. And then we're gonna try getting rid of some of this gasket. Look, it's just the air fuel mixture gasket for the air box on this side. And like I said, up here, I wasn't having a problem. So I'm not really too concerned about this part. I don't want to be taking metal with me here, though. If you guys are waiting to watch me cut myself, that's not cool, man. You know, go cut yourself. Cutting yourself stinks. All right, let's check the other side. We're pretty clean here. Just a little bit of schmoo. All right. Join me in a moment. We're going to pop this bad boy back on. And we are going to uh, see what comes of it. Might give this another little tweak here. All right. Be right back. Is that lighting good for you? It's good for me. Um, so we're going to try putting this, popping this bad boy back on here. Let me put my wrenches back away, my wrench sorter, which is, yeah, it's all right. Okay. So we got this is the outside gasket. The inside gasket looks good. A little dusty. A little chewed up. We'll turn her around and give her what for. Uh, somebody's in my driveway. I'll be right back. All right keep getting interrupted here. This is what happens when I do videos during the daytime. I'm going to put that other gasket. Okay, so that's one gasket. And then we'll take a look at this other gasket. You guys can't see it so good. Eh, it's all right. I'm going to turn it around a little bit so we get coverage. So gasket the second. Uh, what am I missing here? What am I missing? I'm missing something. I am short on zip ties. Yeah, I'm zip tying my fuel lines here. I'm actually going to take this chance to cut a new fuel line. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, so, oh no, it's empty. Uh, I got to find my fuel line. I don't know where I put it. I'll be right back. Let me find my fuel line. All right. So I got the old hose clamps off. I just used some uh, uh, zip ties. My wife just came in. How are you working in here? It's so hot. Yeah, I'm wearing mesh shorts. That's the old hose. And it's like a half inch too short. So we're gonna cut some new hose. I got some Raider fuel line. And we're gonna cut this. Because it's on the outside, it's a little bit longer. Right. Okay, so we're gonna cut this. Just, and use the correct cutters on fuel line, right? These guys because you're going to get a much cleaner cut. Just a little bit longer. Okay, so. 
good fuel line. Get the longer one. That's short. A little bit shorter. Yeah, hon. I'm being summoned. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, we're zip tie in here, which isn't great, but it'll work. Hey, kiddos, what are you doing? What's that? Oh, use my knippics. Cut off the snack. I know we see that. Yeah, chalk. I'll get you. I'll get chalk. No, please. All right. Where's? Hold on. Uh, can you help them get chalk? You want some chalk? Okay. All right. So let's get this fuel line hooked up. Some place chalk. I'm gonna put too much on here. That's okay. Too much. I can handle. The not enough is what makes it a little tough. All right, let's see here. Come on, come on. This fuel line is a lot stiffer than the. Uh, OEM fuel line. Cinch this bad boy down. There we go. Get my Kinepix. Sixteen dollar Kinepix. Can't beat that. Why is my battery almost dead? Ah, oh, this is crazy. Okay, well, we'll see. That's it, guys. That's it. Carb rebuild. Uh, I'll do a follow-up on this video. I just got to slide this bad boy on. This guy over there. That's my breather tube. Can he do it before the battery dies? I don't know. Two screws. Put on the air cleaner. And that's, that's all she wrote. Uh, and the hood, but I'll put the hood on after I test this first. Okay, so let's switch my ratchet. See, that's why I like the swivel head ratchets. There's that. And then get this guy on there. I'm not killing it, just need it snug. There's all of that. Loop that guy up in there, and then that's it. I'm done. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Luke. I'm an amateur. This one didn't take an hour, and hey, I don't even know if it worked. We'll find out. Maybe I'll post another video or a sub subtext to this. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I did wrong. Thanks. Have a good day.